Hello everybody, and uh, today we're going to get this USB port mapping done. Now I did this video several, maybe a year ago, um, but I just wanted to go ahead and follow up with this particular motherboard. This is the MSI B460M Problem Series, Problems with Hackintosh. And we're going to go ahead and just show you how, real quick, to do USB port mapping on this Intel. So, our handy, couldn't live without it, hacking tool, got to have it. Let's just open that up. And if you see up here at the top, you've got all these icons. We want to click on USB. Now, the way that I do this is, I go ahead and grab... A USB 2 thumb drive and a USB 3 they don't have to be thumb drives but you need to know one is a two you know one device that you're gonna plug in is a two and the other one is a three and typically on that you can tell by looking at the U, uh, USB connector of the stick or whatever you're gonna put in it if it's black inside then it's a two if it's blue it's usually a three so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out so we can see all the USB ports. This has 18 showing, but we're only allowed to have 15. Now what I'm going to do is plug in a USB 2 and a USB 3 uh, USB stick into each port, so we can find out which ones light up. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start over here. And this is actually a USB 2 port on the back of the board. And you can see right there, my uh, SanDisk Cruiser picked up this one. So we want to keep that. And there's HSO7. Okay. Now, there's no sense in me putting in a USB 3 in a black USB 2 port on my motherboard because it's just a USB 2. So it's not going to it's not going to do anything but just show up as a 480 okay so let's go ahead and now I'm going to move to um, some blue ports on the back of this particular board now I've got this USB receiver for my keyboard and mouse it's already plugged into one of those ports there's two of them and so we've already got that one labeled now I'm going to plug this USB 2 in the top right above that one okay and there it is so we want that and then I've got more USB 3's here on the back and that one doesn't show up because it's on this hub okay and probably the one right above it would be the same same situation because it's on a hub yeah okay now I've got the USB ports on the front of the case so we want to test those And there we go. And there's another USB 2. And it's on the same one, so we're okay there. Then I have USB 3 ports on the front of the case, so let's check those out. Okay, there's that one. And there's another one. Okay, so we've pretty much got all of our USB 2 ports verified so now I'm going to use a USB 3 stick to test everything so we'll start back here I'm gonna move this USB receiver to a different port and check my USB 3's okay now USB 3's are SS okay these are high speed and these are super speed uh, USB's so we got that one and one right above it okay we want that and then we've got this one here okay and the one right above that Wow we've got a lot of USBs and then we're gonna check the ones on the case okay so there and there all right, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So on this particular board, we get to keep all of our USBs. So exciting news on that. So all we're going to do, guys, we're going to click on this one. And we'll click on this one and this one. All right, and then we're going to hit this minus here or delete, okay? And that removes those ones that weren't showing. So this gives us 15, and that's exactly the number that we, the max number that we can use. And then we're gonna click right here to export them. Let me get rid of all these notices so you can see what's going on. Okay, then we're going to click right here to export. Okay, so there we go. This is the file I'm going to use, this USB ports text. So I can close out of here. Uh, I can go ahead and use Open Core Configurator to just mount the USB or the uh, hidden partition. So right here is my hard drive, this Pony one terabyte mount. Put in my password for the computer and then open. And then I want to double click on EFI and open or OC, then go to text. And I'm just going to drag over USB ports.txt and put it in here. Okay, now while we're in here, let's get rid of this USB inject all. Okay, we'll just get rid of it. And let's go back out of here and let's open up with configurator all right and let's go down here to kernel and I just want to make sure that everything is proper so I'm going to click on scan and open up the OC folder and it picks up that this is no longer here and that we have the USB ports text okay and then also we want this to be unchecked, okay? This is your port limit built into Open Core, but now that we've done the US, uh, USB port mapping, we don't need this anymore. So we'll get rid of that, okay? So let's save, and we will go out of here, restart the computer, and let's test to make sure that all of our USBs are working, okay? Now I'm just gonna reboot, and I'm going to show you the reboot so you know that I didn't switch computers. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you guys. I wouldn't do that. That's a horrible thought. This is a fast little computer. I mean, if you're looking for a budget system but can still do a lot with it, this is really a nice board. It really is. $110, $15, something like that with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, works Excellent. I really like MSI boards. I know that in the Hackintosh community that it gigabyte, 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 or, you know, some other brands, but I've always really liked MSI. Okay, let's go in and check. Now, I've got a USB 3 uh, stick here, so I'm going to stick it in here and see if everything's working. Okay, this is a case port, and there we go, working. And I'll jump over here to the back of the motherboard and go into a USB 3 slot. And there it is. And the one right above it. And we're good. And then I've got two more here. We'll make sure those are working. And there's one of them. And one above that one. Okay. Yep. All right. So all my threes are working. And we'll just go ahead and throw in the USB twos. I got a USB two stick here now. And there we go. That's one of my BIOS when I update BIOSes on motherboards. Okay. Here's another test. I'm putting a USB two device in a three and there we go all right so we are done guys that is it um, works very well 
you can get your all your USBs working typically when you use a hack and tool and it's just this is an amazing tool um, whoever the authors are on this I'm not sure but uh, they need a lot of credit uh, and you can even tip them right here whenever you use this you know it wouldn't hurt at all to throw them five bucks but um, great great tool that we're used to to uh, find out about our you know our fixing our USB 3s with this over here and it's just uh, it's worth its weight in gold so there you go guys I hope you enjoyed this I did do this video like I said uh, before but this is maybe an updated and uh, it never hurts to see the process of taking a new motherboard and going through all of the problems that you could encounter so when you are trying to do a board you'll know what to expect okay it's not just as easy as just oh make an EFI and everything works it's not always that way so a lot of testing goes into it and um, a lot of this type of editing things and uh, trying to get everything to work properly and um, so I'm very excited to have done this series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Guys, we got a little build. I'm going to do an ITX build in uh, the next video. And it's a cute little system. I'm actually building it for a musician friend of mine who is going to be kind of on the road back and forth. And he needed something he could throw in a suitcase. Now, it it's, it's like 8 inches square, but you can get it in a suitcase and uh, he didn't want to use a laptop so because he needed more power so um, we got that build coming up that'll be fun but that one is going to be Catalina because uh, he doesn't really want to expand into Big Sur and Monterey of course um, with using a lot of different plugins that may or may not be supported and he has some older ones so we're going to go with catalina for now and then he can upgrade to uh, big sur later or monterey so look forward to that video thanks so much for watching and please 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 like and subscribe it really helps my channel out a lot i want to build us up i want to get us to fifty thousand subscribers and uh, i want to keep bringing you guys some amazing content i hope you enjoy it Thanks again. See you later.